What's good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back with an interview. I rarely do these, but today is a very special day and occasion to uh, break out some information from some of the sisters from, from the community. I have a very special uh, lady here. I'll let her introduce herself and her sister. Hi, uh, my name is Kara Wilson, and this is my sister, Kashan. I'm Kashan Allison. All right, thank you so much. And I, I barely checked my Facebook, but it just so happened that you know I, I checked it and you had had messaged me, and um, you wanted to talk about something that uh, that happened in, in your life in the last three years. Um, can you go ahead and explain exactly what that was about? Okay, so um, my reason for contacting you was firstly because. Um, my daughter, Alexis Wilson, was uh, 19 years old. She was killed in the village of Dalton by Dalton police. Um, when this happened, uh, Dalton police spun a false narrative. They came to my door. They lied to me at my door. Um, at the time, they're telling me at my door that they don't know what happened to my daughter. They're simultaneously releasing statements on the news. Um, Sean Howard, who was uh, Tiffany's PR person at the time, as well as Tiffany Henyard, uh, both released statements. At the same time, they're telling me they don't know what happened to my child. Mm -hmm. Once they made uh, contact with the family and confirmed that it was her, then they were able to release her name to the media. Okay. So... I'm, we're calling the station. We're, we're trying to find out. Her father and I are both, both trying to find out what happened to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're left with a blanket statement. There's a crash and a shooting and we don't know what happened. Okay. Um, so we're calling. We're not getting answers. Um, and we hear this statement, these statements on the news. And, and prior mm -hmm. to releasing her name, we had no clue they were talking about our child. Um the things so you, that you they were saying all this on the news but you didn't know that it was your daughter exactly you, I, because i had already gotten the notification about my daughter's death i was in a completely different world i i was not even paying attention to the news i'm trying to figure out we're calling the police station trying we're trying to, to find it. out what happened where's her body where you know so we're doing that but we you know other people in the family as the family gather they're hearing the news out of Dalton and they're still not saying her name but they're saying that there was an irate woman with a gun um what they said there was an irate woman with a okay. gun weaponizing the vehicle aiming her cop her car at cops and she dragging police, two officers, officers down the street in okay. my mind, that was, that was on the news. That's that's what they were releasing to the news. That's what I'm hearing on the news. To me, two didn't make two and two didn't make four. That did not. That was not my child. They were described. Okay, so let, me, I, let me ask you this before we. Um, mm -hmm. So, the night that this happened, you don't live. Were you were you living in Dalton? What was the reason why your no, daughter was? We in live in Homewood. My Homewood, daughter okay. was in Dalton with her boyfriend. Okay, daughter lives in Dalton, and so what no, she happened? She does not live in Dalton. She is not she from Dalton. She she she, she, she grew up in Homewood. She Homewood, but her, her boyfriend was in Dalton. Dalton. Okay, she was out with her boyfriend that evening. Okay, and so what what was the incident that happened that um brought her there? Well, yeah, okay. why were the police called? Okay, so um, my daughter placed an order via DoorDash um, to uh, she placed her order via DoorDash. Uh, they offered ten dollar off coupon if she picked up her order, so she chose to pick it up to save that ten dollars. So she goes to the the restaurant to pick it up. They give her an order that's not hers, um, and so you see the first. She'll if you watch the entire video, she stops, gets her order, she drives around the building because it's not her order, goes okay. back to the window and disputes that order. Now okay. they're basically telling her, you take that or you get nothing. Our kitchen is closed. But she said, well, give me my money back or give me my food. Like, you know, one or the other. Right. So um, that's when you see on a video, you'll see she starts banging with this pole next to that. that I, it's a flagpole that I had next to the seat in my car. 
So she mm-hmm. starts banging on it because they basically walked away with no resolution. Okay. So the guy comes to the window. You'll see them cut her calm down after this. And he does like this. Right. So he goes to the back and calls in a um, basically a false police report says that she's outside a irate with a gun. And um, they ask him a question and he responds by saying, I don't want to go up there. I don't want to get shot. So that was the the call that Baba's made. So uh, officers show up in force, guns drawn, surround the vehicle. They have two empty police cars. They pull up in two police cars to block her in, right? Mm -hmm. So they have their two police cars parked in front of my vehicle. And she's in the van in the drive-thru. They come out, guns out yelling, screaming, get out the car, get out the car. Um, I can hear her and what I've heard her like, uh, I'm not dressed. What do I get to get out for? Um, I think she told him they took my money. They took my food. Why do I got to get out? So she had no idea why they were even there. No idea. Now mm-hmm. in 52 seconds, mind you, 52 seconds, not even one whole minute of them asking her to get out the car. This mm-hmm. officer holsters his right, he holsters his gun, pulls his right arm and his right leg back and prepares to punch her. He opened her door, opened her do- no, oh, opened her door. Yes. And, and he stepped, took the, two, the step back and he prepared to punch her to deliver those punches. So she gets hit and she goes, oh! And, she, and she's, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he punches her again. So you see her head snapping back. And this is what kills me because the news is still reporting that they don't know if she was punched. Yet you can clearly see this man punching her in her face. So he's punching. He punches her. He gives her at least two blows to the face. Mm -hmm. The second blow, I think she realizes she's in motion. I say that because the car kind of juts forward a little bit before she actually takes control of it. Mm -hmm. Right. And when she takes control of it now, she's like this, because mind you, he's knocked her glasses off her face. She can't see. see, So she's at 10 and two with her face out the window. So she's trying to get away. She puts her foot on the gas. She barrels through the cars in front of her. At first, she actually tries to find a way around the cars. But puncher man is right in this window. And so she just takes off. There was no officer in front of the vehicle. There was no officer in either of the cars. Every officer around the vehicle jumped back, except for the one was uh, uh, what the is his name? On the side. Ger- Ger- Gerard Gerard Car- Gerard is it Gerard Carton Carlton? Mm-hmm. Okay, I Officer remember, Carlton. I remember the- jumped in the vehicle. Everybody else jumps the, back. The passenger, you got. He pass- jumps in. The passenger door was open because they had taken right. The mm-hmm. her and her boyfriend went to the restaurant. The boyfriend had gotten out the vehicle. The officer was standing between the door and the car. He was standing Mm -hmm. there with his hand on this gun. When she pulled off, he jumped into the vehicle instead of stepping back. He jumped into the vehicle before she got to the street, which was, I don't know how many feet. Maybe she was was gone. Maybe 12 feet. She was gone. He, Mm -hmm. she hit the corner as she makes that right turn. That's when she sees him in the car with her. And this child lets out a blood curdling scream and he starts hitting her with bullets. He put two in her head and five down her side. She was an organ donor with no organs left to donate. Wow. He executed my child when he's sitting right next to her. Mm -hmm. He could have shot the engine. He could have shot in the air. Any type of, he could have yelled, girl, pull this car over. Cause that would have scared the crap out of her already. She was away from the man the that was punching her. Mm-hmm. The, the they had already they thrown the key fob the key. out. The key fob was on the on the parking lot. She wasn't going anywhere. The car would have disabled itself it once it got too far from the fob. It would, he, okay, and the, and this officer, because we talked briefly, because you sent me some emails. This was an officer that had some previous problems. With stuff like this in the past, right? At least three. The punching officer, Perez, 
Okay. I can recall at least three for you. I don't know all the details on everything, but there's two I do know uh, quite a bit about. There's one um, that happened at a hospital. Um, don't know the exact details of what led to this uh, shooting, but it's something about a guy getting in a CAT scan, refusing, getting upset, um, tussling. They sh he killed him. He killed him in the hospital. Now, he was acquitted on that. Then the appeals court reversed that acquittal. So at some point, he's got to face a judge about that. Um, there was another where he um, was in a police chase with officer, now uh, Chief Lacey. He was in a police chase with Chief Lacey and was told to stand down. They didn't stand down, killed one boy and gave another boy TBI you know, traumatic brain injury, which caused him to need lifetime care. They just lost a $33.5 million settlement for that. Um, so that's another one that uh, um, Perez was involved in. Um, there's one with regards to someone being killed on Sibley at a gas station where he shot him in the back. I don't have the details on that. Never really looked that one up. And then one year after being involved in Alexis' death, he shot another man on Sibley, um, not too far from where they, yeah, they yeah. killed Alexis. So that guy has been, and those are just the ones that I know about. And those are because people are telling me, not because yeah, I looked, looked it up, up or yeah. people just made me informed. And then I looked them up this and I found those. So I do know that he's been involved in, in many and have, has not been reprimanded. In fact, has been promoted in a okay. black town killing black people no okay so the person that sorry, so the person that was the puncher was not the shooter no no so I, what he happened, was a rookie from my understanding the shooter okay okay so what happened to the shooter of the police um, officer? i have heard nothing from him since then is he um, still a police officer in dalton i have he heard have. nothing from him yeah. uh, since then um nothing. yeah nothing um, so I have no clue of my, my, from, and from my understanding, he was a rookie and Perez was his, um, partner. So I haven't heard anything about that officer since then. Okay. So let's kind of go. I, I know you're from Homewood, which is not Dalton, mm -hmm. but it seems like Tiffany Henyard had just become, I believe the first female yeah. mayor of Dalton. First yeah, but I believe period. she's she is supervisor for some of these homes in Homewood. Now it's not and uh, it's not oh, the Thornton district. Township, I mean. right? Okay. Yes. So we're in Thornton Township, or not? I mean, I'm in Bloom Township, so I'm very some near. Part, some parts of my city are covered Thornton. by Thornton, Thornton. Thornton Township, yeah. but okay. not mine, thank God. Okay. Okay. So I, I believe that she 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 ran when I hear some of the things she's talking about, like. Uh, women empowerment uh black women single moms you know she was really kind of running on that sort of platform and not okay. the way she disregarded this no. child on, okay. on the day of her uh, on the day of her killing uh, mm -hmm. when when she was given an opportunity to speak the mm -hmm. mayor of uh, i mean T tiffany henyard the the mayor of dalton mm -hmm. said um although she hasn't seen any body camera sure um i do stand my by my officers they did do the right thing and took another criminal off the streets of dog criminal they have, yeah a criminal off the streets of dog okay. um and they have probably prevented other crimes from being other crimes that would have or could have been committed okay okay they took a criminal off the streets of dog and that your daughter your daughter was on her way to college, never arrested. No record. Not, not, no, not even armed that day. No gun, right? They didn't no, find a gun. She, she does. Nothing. She's never carried a gun. Okay. So, now, um, for her to even come out without reviewing anything, mm -hmm. and to say this about a young black girl, because we're mm -hmm. talking about a nineteen-year-old teenager. She, yeah, she was a teenager. A nineteen-year-old girl. Um, to come out and say that they in fact did the right thing by killing her. By killing her, that was the right thing to do with a 19 year old girl. 
How does that make sense? And how do you claim to have so much love and compassion for black women when you can say this about a young black girl? She's, I believe she's hiding behind that the I'm black, I'm a black woman, I'm a single. Mm. She's looking for empathy and sympathy for votes. That now, has, she's not she's not that. In response to her comment, we did okay. protest outside her home with her mugshot. Because between her and Alexis, she's, she's the only one with the mugshot. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, right. so we protested outside of her home with truth. her mugshot as well as pictures of my daughter. And we were met with at least 20 uh, law enforcement officers at a peaceful protest. And um, at that point, she got security. That's when she used her that that this us showing up in front of her house as an excuse for her to have this security detail. Now, if you watch the interview they did with Chief Collins, he said that there was a police shooting in Dalton, but they'd never ever say Alexis name. That police shooting was Alexis. So because of that police shooting, she got security detail. Okay. My family was never a threat to her, just like my daughter was never a threat to her officers. It's all a lie. But that's okay. where her that's the real reason for security detail. Okay. Let me let me get before before I go deep into the security detail. Now, even though you're from Homa, which is nearby, mm -hmm. and your daughter um, um was killed in Dalton, what did the rest of the city after you know hearing what the, the city put out as the information? And then hearing what you had to put out, or, or what you found out through the the, the body cam, the body mm -hmm. cam, what did the 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 African American community in Dalton? How did they respond to all of this? They rallied around us. They helped protest. They showed up for candlelight vigils, for they balloon releases. They, they they put yard signs in their yard um, wow. that that clearly said Dalton police had killed her. Um, mm -hmm. They they rallied around us. They I, made t-shirts. They made they, they made our t-shirts. They, they they showed up. The township the township. I'm um, sorry, not the township. The um, the residents, the village, and the residents and the trustees. They really everyone except um, Tiffany. Everyone rallied. Did rally around us. They sent out their condolences. They spoke to my sister. They mm -hmm. showed up for our family and they supported us in our and and and, and, and they this. still do and and still they do. still do. Yeah. The only so, person who did not retract what they said publicly or behind the doors was Tiffany. The and mayor, the police. The mayor. The chief of police at the time, um, they both um they both made comments about the shooting of my niece. They didn't um neither one of them had seen the video before they even said anything in front of the cameras. And mm -hmm. what's his name? Sean Howard. He got on he got on in front of the cameras directing how the shooting went down but he hadn't seen the count he hadn't seen anything okay. else he had put up about it before he described it this is what happened this is it was cops hanging from the car they made it sound like the wild wild west and when it wasn't he put a whole director script out there without even seeing the video yet there was no cops hit um hit head on like they said no mm -hmm. cop was dragged no cop was in critical condition nobody was taken to the none of that they also admit to opening fire on the car but again why would you open fire on a vehicle with two of your officers hanging from the windows that that okay that, that you make, can't none of those, that both sense. of those together none, don't none make, of sense. That makes sense okay so they're let, me, lying. let me they're lying they okay so lying. when i've when i've looked i've been in contact with one of the trustees personally uh, on Facebook, just uh, Edward, Mr. Edward Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, good guy. So he, good guy. He, 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 I, I could say he's a nice guy. He was a, actually a former trustee. I think she helped him yeah, lose yeah, yeah. Right. his position, but he runs that YouTube channel. He'd be kicking her ass over there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He tell so, me yeah, yeah, he'd be going hard. Um, yeah. So I know that in the trustees, you have like, um, there's four that are really on the side of the residents. There's Jason House, there's Kiana Belcher. Um there is um Norwood. The, yeah, Norwood. Um Brittany Norwood is that her name? Mm -hmm. and there's another there's another lady. Um, um maybe she has the same last name as somebody else. Yeah. Maybe she maybe like 
40 or 50, something like that around the age range. But then there's like the other guys that maybe be on her side, which is like mm-hmm. Andrew. Is it Andrew oh. Holmes? Mm-hmm. And there's somebody else too, right? There's some other person. Stan that's Brown. Brown. So the other one is Brown. Stan Brown. Yeah, Stan Brown. Okay. Yeah, those two are Trusty her. Brown. The other one is Trusty Brown. But those are her people, right? They're all Democrats, but there's a. Yes, kind yes. Of there's those two. Those yes. two. Between those two. Okay. Yeah. So when you said all the trustees supported you, I know for a fact those four, and at the time Steve had to be probably one of them, were on your side. Yeah, what about yeah. these other two? Were they there at the same time too, Stan Brown and Holmes? Holmes, Holmes? came. Holmes came to my sister's door. My sister, okay. I wouldn't let him speak to my sister. I went to the door myself and I spoke to him face to face. He he clearly told me that Tiffany was not his mayor. He did not support her. And that um, he sent his condolences and she should have never said those things. He should have never said those things. And that um, his heart goes out to our family. And if we need anything to personally give him a call and he'll take care of it for us. Um, And I just I basically just turned him around at the door because I did not want him to speak to my sister. So -hmm. she never actually spoke to him. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me. But he came. He came here and he knocked on the door. We have we have a uh, ring video. camera. Mm-hmm. We have a camera, and we still we saved the video. So he okay. came over here and told us how much he was against Tiffany and and what she did okay. and what she stand for, and then went back over there and. <laughs> did he, did he so, ever make any negative statements about your daughter, or he just? No, he, ne- he, never he just never said. Anything. He never said anything. Okay. Okay, but he felt uh, at, at least convicted enough to come. And he drove the well, Homewood. He, he, right? he, the the cameras. he thought there oh. would be cameras over here. I don't know why he. I, I, I don't know, know what his so. motivation was. was. But I will tell you that I did run into him again after this, and and um, I my friend had taken me out for my birthday, and I apparently he was having something for his birthday there, and I'm literally sitting there. We're having dinner, and I'm crying through all of dinner and here comes this man and you know people are taking pictures and shaking his hand and and I'm trying to see is he who I think that is you know and so when he gets done he walks over to me he reaches his hand out and I retract my hand I said no I said I'm Alexis Wilson's mother and he kind of goes and about faces nothing else just nothing else to say so Mm -hmm. that so that was his first time meeting me and he okay. literally, when I told him I was Alexi's mom, he just turned and went the other direction. Okay. So you feel like he was not genuinely concerned. It was just no, he was not at all. No, he right. wasn't. He, he thought there were right. cameras here. He thought there were going to be some cameras out here. Mm-hmm. And he had already came. When you step but in front see, of him, when you step I in front of I think he was him, trying to backdoor her because he, he don't want that, her to know that he was saying those things. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so, of course he was. Of course he was right. Okay. So now let's kind of get back to this happened in 2021, mm-hmm. and we're now in 2024, mm-hmm. and the city has still remained consistent on painting your daughter in that mm-hmm. negative narrative, right? Yeah, absolutely. As well as mainstream media, they never take took a. Uh, uh, an opportunity to actually look at the the truth, they would play the video and say, "Oh, officers were injured." And the- when so you when see you nobody see hanging from the, from the video, I mean, hanging from the car. Are we talking about like WGN News? Yeah, about- yeah. Yes, yeah, they yes. have seen the, the they've seen videos that were cut to make it look like it, okay. that was something that it wasn't. But they whatever videos they the saw, video. they never saw any never, cops hanging from no never, doors. Not, not one. Mm-hmm. So for them to say they were hanging from the door while he was reaching for keys that didn't exist. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was reaching in the vehicle, punching my kid. And when she took off, they were not hanging from the windows. She did not aim her vehicle at anyone. She was trying to get away after being assaulted. Okay. So 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 for them to leave that story out there just like that is is Mm -hmm. real hurtful. Okay. That's heartbreaking. So, I had to lose my kid and I got to fight for the truth too when you can right. see it. So let me ask you this. Some people will say, well, in 2016, I believe you shared that with me by email. There was a young man that won a $33.5 million lawsuit. So 
people are going to want to know, well, 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 Mrs. Wilson, Mrs. Wilson, what have you decided to sue Cook County in the same way as the others did for that wrongful death for? Of course I'm suing. Of okay. course I'm suing. Why would I not? Okay. Of course so, I'm suing. But you know what? More than any money, what I'd like to see happen is them mm-hmm. go to jail for doing what they did to her. Okay. The police officers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because they were trained, supposedly, to handle okay. a 19-year-old size zero, 100-pound little girl. Right. 100 pounds. They what would you scared. like to see... When it comes to Tiffany Henry, as far as how she's handled everything, I want to be in a room with her for five minutes. <laughs> Wouldn't even take that long. Um, to be you know, honest, I'm being very serious. To, to be honest, I, I I would just like to see her held accountable at some point because this woman's been running from accountability since she stepped into those shoes. Since the the time they asked her to stand up and be accountable for what she did say in my daughter's case, she got security and started canceling meetings. No, I would like her to actually take accountability for the things that she's doing and saying. And she's not going to do that. To. She's not going to. She she runs from accountability. She doesn't want Absolutely. anyone to say anything about her or against Which her. Which again is the real reason for security. Right. It's to put that buffer between her and any questions that the, the community may have. They're going to shut right. shut them down before you can even ask her anything. There's a okay. this where you think bigger of yourself. What narcissism. No, mm. not narcissism. That, what what mm. is it? There's delusions of grandeur. That's there one. That's what that's that, that's what I'm. That's what she has. She's a rock star. She's a rock star. She's created. Okay. Now she she has a podcast. She wants a reality show. She wants to do a documentary. Right. She wants to right. do. A, well, then resign and go. I'm do going all down of that. in history. You sure are. You're sure. <laughs> well, they're gonna read you in the book. They're gonna read about you in the book. Huh? So so let me let me ask also. For for uh, I know that you have been in contact with there was a, a, a another young man that died, and um, yes. I don't was that person also killed in Dalton? It, he was he was found dead in Dalton uh, police custody. Okay, okay, now with that story, I have yeah. talked to his wife. Okay. Um, they had recently gotten a house in in um, Dalton. Um, she was approximately six months pregnant, um, and he was he was locked up for whatever he was locked up for but being released and uh so close to being released that he had called his father already to arrange his ride and when his dad got there to pick him up he had committed suicide so it's not but it's not just him he might have been the the second or third within a six month period and they have no recording and no, no evidence of what happened to these people inside of their uh, lockup. Okay. Well, now, how did the community, and his, his name, I believe, was it Jeff Wilson? Darius Wilson. Darius yes, Wilson. it just happened Sorry, to be Wilson. Wilson as well. No relation. No relation. Okay, Darius no Wilson. Relation. How did the family, I know it was a, a, a different situation than what happened with you. But how are they handling the situation? Well, it's not equal, but it's similar. They don't believe that he committed suicide. His family does okay. not believe, not with having made the phone call. Again, he just bought a house in Dalton with his his, right. his wife, young couple, um, four kids already or three, having their fourth. Um, she was six months pregnant. Again, he had arranged for his ride home and then commit suicide. Yeah, call us he, it's not like he was jail. faking facing life right he, you know he was like, like it was some something minor he was being released it right. was like the next day so he was being released already you okay. know he wasn't being shipped out to county or nothing like that he was getting let to go home so okay. why then would he c- call his dad to pick him up and then commit suicide right. while dad is on his way that just doesn't sound right and it doesn't sit right with his family okay okay so people are going to want to know because I really didn't know about Dalton until, you know, this, she started trending all over, not even just in, in, in the United States. I've had people, you know, I'm in Africa yeah, right yeah. now. People say yeah. that she, she's showing up in South Africa news, yeah. New Zealand, Australia. So yeah. she's like worldwide now. She's, she's, so she's ridiculous. What is, and you live in Homewood, what is the perception of Dalton in the last, let's say, 
20 years. What do people in the Chicagoland area feel about Dalton in the way that the city conducts itself, just in general? Dalton used to be a great place, a place to, to absolutely to go. You hard work and families. Yeah. Very it used to be our uh, father, our ideal. family still owns a house there. Our family, our family does still, still own a house there. there. So yeah. um it used to be an ideal community. It it did. They had the trolleys years, and um, just it, it was a great community at some point um it just started getting worse it you know and and i can't really judge the administration myself because um we're, we're not residents of dalton um right. though we have family there still we we uh politics wasn't our thing to talk about uh with regards to this, I know, like I said, we have they, they have some awesome residents, um, some awesome people live there. The administration right. is is well, and and you know Tiffany and her gang, they're they're robbing them, you know, okay. and and could definitely have prioritized where money goes and 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 making those decisions that as far as putting an ice rink before the infrastructure of the community really makes okay. no sense. Yes. And and right. when it goes against the um, the wishes of the trustees. To, to be like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And this is not your decision to make. Um, mm -hmm. That's the wrong attitude to um, um, <laughs> run an administration with. Even have having the, here, we'll the, the um, even with having the, um, the, 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 down to having the police cars in jeopardy of being repossessed. Like that shouldn't even be a thing. Okay. But what I'm saying as far as Dalton, the police department, historically has it always had some issues and how they interact with the residents corruption things like that well um with that again this oh is this God. is my first um um it, it, you know my first time having any any business with the the city of dalton in that way right um so i i really can't answer to that but i can tell you if you look at that one video I, that i sent you um yes. that clip that that guy did a whole uh breakdown a whole breakdown on the police corruption in Dalton so he goes back some years so you can find some information there where he fact checked things um, but I really you know this is my first experience with them and and my rating of them would be very biased okay so very biased let's kind of talk about your daughter because uh, I know in the national media she's been depicted as somebody that was a criminal but let's use this time to tell the, the world, you know, what kind of woman, young lady your daughter was and what she wanted to become. She wanted to grow up. <laughs> she wanted she to wanted grow, to grow up, up real fast. She, she wanted to grow up. She, she definitely she, wanted to, she she wanted to be a woman. Old, she couldn't, she couldn't wait she couldn't to get her wait, own things She wanted going. to get her own place. She wanted to open a business. Her mom was helping her um, build a business here. Um, it was just she wanted to grow up. She was 19 years old. And um, what would you at 19? What did you want to do? You want to be grown. You want to drive your own car. You want your own family. She talked about having kids, and mm -hmm. she was a big help with my nephew. Yes, um, here my nephew has autism, and my niece uh, looked after him and and was like his second mom. And mm -hmm. she's when I say she's missed, she. Yes, she's oh, missed yes. her silly. She she's missed. Um, big. She loved she her family she more than anything. Um, she wanted to grow up. She, she loved me. Up. She loved everything I loved. It, it, <laughs> I could say, "Hey, what do you want to eat?" And she says, "I don't know, Mom. What do you want?" I'm like, ah, "I'm not really hungry." She said, "Well, I'm gonna wait till you eat because whatever you get, I'm sure it's gonna be better than mine." <laughs> Let's just mm -hmm. just pounds, but she ate like a three hundred pound man. She would just she would wait for me. Okay. Um, every day was the same thing. She knocked on my door every morning. She woke me up every morning. I used to ask her, "Why do you wake me up every morning?" It's like because mm. I was just thinking about things that I wanted to talk to you about, and you were still asleep. So I figured I'd just come wake you up because I wanted to talk to you. It took me till she was about eighteen to stop knocking on my door every morning. Mm -hmm. Um. She just, I loved her. She was just so much a part of us. You mm -hmm. know, me, her, and her brother. Uh, before it was us, it was her and her big sister, her, her older sister. So it was like, you know, my kids are spread out. So 
you mm-hmm. know, as as she's growing, it's me, Leah, and Lexi, and then as Le- Leah leaves, then it's me, Lexi, and Alonzo. You know, so it was just always she was always an integral part of any anything we did. You mm-hmm. know, she she loved her little brother like it was her own, carried him on his hip a, a month before she died. Perfect. Mind you, she's nineteen and he's eight. And I'm like, will you put him down? He's gonna be walking you in a minute. You know. Okay. She loved that kid. She had just literally a month before she died, had just made a builder bear. Just bought her very first car on her own. Um, mm-hmm. Anticipating because she needed to be able to work and go to school when she started school. So she had just purchased her own car. Mm-hmm. Um, she was what, awesome. what, 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 she, what, what does she want to do? Because you, you, you said she, she wanted to become weeks. a respiratory therapist, but she, she had her hands in so much, so many things that were beauty. So um, Alexis could do hair, could could do like like every I don't know if you can see this shirt, but everything you have it, every style on that shirt that girl did in her own head by herself. Like she taught herself how to do all of that. She mm-hmm. um, she loved learning to do nails, and like I said, she had just gotten her lash cla- class done. So like. Every hairstyle, even going back to the little picture of her when she's in dreadlocks, she does all of that herself. Mm-hmm. All the braids, all the weave, all the everything she did, she she did it all by herself. She learned how to do it. I said, "Honey, I can do locks. If you take your hair down, you're on your own." And she <laughs> and she handled okay. it. Okay. You know that's that type of girl. So she wanted to get into everything beauty and her friends. So so you know one of her best friends became a nail tech. One of her best friends became an esthetician. The other best friend learned how to install weaves and do dreadlocks. So all of her friends went to school to do these different things, and we mm-hmm. thought that one day they'd all have a business together. Okay. So it's just. She wanted to do so much. She had so many plans. And another one of those was to su- succeed us in the business we own. So okay. um, she was training to do to do that, uh, working with kids with autism. Her brother are, are, was already autistic and she saw right. such hope in him. She, um, I think she would have excelled in this field as well. Okay. And y- y- you've never had a chance to talk to the mayor Oh, um, no, no. no, she tried to slip a backdoor letter apologizing or giving some, but no, you called out every media source to criminalize my child and to tell these lies about what happened. Well, be just so do that, keep you that know, same energy. keep that energy when you want to send out some apologies and condolences. Don't send something backdoor saying that, you know, you do wish your condolences. No, no. No, it's too late it's now. Somebody else wrote it. Nobody right, somebody else some wrote it. Backdoor, insincere. Right, the same way Holmes came behind people's back. Don't, no, you guys have the whole, every outlet out in front of there while you're saying she drove her car and the cops. And Now eat that, because it's all lies. That's what I, I want. And they're not going to do that. Human if she would have apologized publicly. I, you know, she could have said, hey, you know, I, misspo- I, I misspoke. I, you know, I, I went by others' opinions or thoughts, or I should have looked at the information before. She could have done anything other than completely ignore the fact that she said this, and then mm-hmm. she walked away. And there's a clip where they did a, a, tr- a tea with the trustees where you hear a young lady, Dr. Nikita, say, you read this and you said this about somebody's child? She was warned not to do so. And I still, still make so, that decision. Talk about this ba- a backdoor letter. What what did that backdoor letter contain? Uh, I don't even remember. It, it, was, <laughs> it was it was something saying that she should have issued condolences or something like that see, to the family. But it was not. It, was it didn't hold that same it energy. Didn't it didn't say, you know, I'm sorry that you know we we didn't we weren't honest or. It was no accountability in it. It's just a blanket. I'm sorry this a, happened. One of those Hallmark, you know, one of those Hallmark, Hallmark cards, blanket statement. It was, it was that. Generic. It was very generic. Generic. So okay. I don't remember that. It what I remember sincere. is her standing sincere. in front of people telling them that my child deserved to die. It, it wasn't sincere. For no crime. Okay. 
what about this person stan brown this uh what, what was his response to now him he was not in office at that time um okay. he has so i've never met him um he's just he i know that he's a former trustee had been trustee in the village uh at some point in time some time back and i guess she pulled him out of left pocket to to fight uh um to take uh edward steve's seat and the people went for it. Oh, okay. probably because he was familiar. Uh, um, you know, he was familiar to, to, to the to the uh, to the village. He was familiar to the village. Okay, okay. And he he's kind of. I don't really hear too much about him. Just with the other person, I hear a lot about Andrew Holmes. Is yeah, I, I have this no another idea. crony of Tony of uh, Tiffany. Yeah, I have no idea. Much I really shot, don't know anything about mayor. that man. Much shot mayor Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. Mugshot, the mugshot mayor. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So we used to I refer won't... to her by her inmate number. <laughs> Whoa. So, I mean, but, but, but before I mean, Tiffany Hanger, is she from Dalton? Because she always says, you, I, "I grew here, you flew here." I, I hear her say things. She like says all the time. she is again. That's something we we, we really don't. don't. You know, the the only thing that we can attest to is what happened with um, the incidents that surrounded Alexis. Other okay. than that, we because we're not residents there, we don't really know a lot about it. We've been watching it sort of just like you guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we might be in a couple of groups where we can say we can look and see that. Oh wow, this she happened again. Or, you know, but um, I'm I'm just really not as as in tune with it. Um, so, the only thing that that yeah, brought yeah. us into this was was Alexis. was Alexis and the lies they told on her. Right. Um, you know, that's that's what even got us to this point. We don't we really don't know. We've just been, like I said, watching uh, observers ourselves with that. OK, OK, so I won't I won't hold you too much longer. Um, I definitely thank you so much. And I, I apologize. I was supposed to uh, do this yesterday, but the time zones are it's too. Oh, boring. yes, I see. Yeah. yeah, time zones is, 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 is different. But, you know, I felt so compelled to. Um, to, to, to hurt and stop what I'm doing after I saw because I, I I know you wanted to talk about something but when I read the, the emails I was just taking it back and um you know it was it was like I was like oh my god like yeah I have to I have to do this right now like let me stop what I'm doing right now and, and attend to this and again um I could not even imagine I mean I don't have any children <clears throat> but I can imagine if I did I don't even think I can I don't even think I would know how it feels how you feel um, and then yeah, somebody you, really can, you can definitely child. empathize I, with it. I don't. I, I can't. It's tell it's to every parent and every every yeah, per, no. any person that doesn't have a child is the worst fear. Anyone right. that has a child is the worst fear. It is absolutely is. You know, it's a parent's and, and, worst fear. And and that one day flipped my entire world upside down. Everything that I was doing or in the midst of doing myself, progressing, everything stopped. It all came to a halt. Let me let me ask one question, you know, concerning that. Obviously, in, in um, I saw just in the interview a few times, you had to stop yourself from um, just breaking down. Um, how 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 do you handle dealing with this every day? I know some days maybe better than others, but how do you how do you keep the strength to keep going? Honestly, like I said, I stayed in the bed two years. My son missed all of third grade. Uh, my businesses are failing. Things are going bad. Thing, like I said, I was a whole different person before this. I had just finished a post grad degree um, so that I could be, you know, the top licensed in my company, and I have to spend a year to uh, in practicum for that. Um, everything was set to go. I finished my post-grad in May. My supervision was set up for September. None of that ever happened. And now I'm to a point where everything is falling apart. So I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. She's, um, she's, I, I, I'm, she's I'm doing the best she's, I can. She's, she's a functional depressed. She's a functionally, she's dep functionally depressed. The that makes sense. sense right there but i did the, the journal um another that is something that i have um been working on a little bit i have um there are forever lexi 19 publications on uh amazon so i kind of put into that like i created like a a, a journal of remembrance and healing 
um, and that's de dedicated to her. So there's like calendars and books and um, and here it tells you different ways to deal with grief and gives you, you know, coloring pages and self care pages. And so um, I've been I've been doing things that create legacies for Alexis. So, um, you know, that's that's yeah, really Amazon, a, my motivation it has completely refocused. You can buy it on Amazon, right? Yes. Yes. You can get these it's, on Amazon. It's, 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 and there's several of them. Um, okay. or several different uh, right. versions of, like I said, there's day planners and calendars and financial planners and um, prayer journals. And so there's there's all kinds of low content books. I've also got three books that I'm working on. Um, one that I'm writing with other mothers whose children were killed by the police. So um, my focus has, my motivation and focus have completely been changed. Okay. Okay. Well, we, we hope that, you know, I, I, I don't know what, what to say, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that things are getting going to get better for you. Um, and I, I know that they will. So, you know, I, I could just um, try to try to stay as encouraged as you possibly can. It's great that you're doing these things. I want to buy one of them myself as soon as this is over awesome. and uh, have it. You know, it, it'd take about th 30 years to get here. But uh, once it gets here, I heard, <laughs> you know, you know um, if for people who might want to uh, other people in the in the content creator community that might want to help get the word out, how would they be able to contact you? Um, how could they uh, reach out to you? Things like that. Email. I can be uh, you can reach me on email at Cara Kids Therapist at Gmail dot com. And that's Cara, C-A-R-A, Kids, K-I-D-S, Therapist, T-H-E-R-A-P-I-S-T. So Cara, Kids, Therapist at gmail.com. All right. So, um, guys, I'm going to put the Amazon link to the book. So uh, I want all the brothers and sisters to go over there and try to su uh, and support. We'll buy one and um, we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Uh, for coming on and uh, and reaching out to me so we can get the world out and hopefully um, other people in the content creator community too in Black YouTube we can uh, you know keep this going absolutely let's let's get the truth out there that that's all I got left sir is is right. the truth the truth about what happened that night and and not to look at her as a child that deserved what she got because right. she didn't get out the car fast she didn't do enough. anything she didn't do anything to deserve that she okay. didn't she did. All right. Okay, and uh, definitely, I, I'll, I'll check out the the. Uh, I'll share the other brother's video. I believe he did Absolutely. more about yeah. Um, a breakdown. I forgot the guy's name, but I'll, I'll link it there. His name is what? Shay okay. from Late Night Crew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see it here. Okay. So we'll, we'll we'll yeah the the real shout out to the brother the real Late Night Crew. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of the episode is Corrupt Dalton Police Chief Lacey Gets a Closer Look. So this was done yeah. maybe three nights ago. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and share Very that. Out. All right. So thank you guys so much. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace.